It's common for an agent or an employee to conduct business deals on their employer's behalf. But at what point is the employer bound to the deal? White v. Thomas shows what happens when an agent fails to do the master's bidding. Betty Simpson worked for Bradford White on a part-time basis for nearly two years. Simpson answered White's telephone, watched his house, performed some typing, and fixed up two houses. Once, on White's behalf and under a power of attorney, Simpson signed closing papers on property that White purchased. She also brought White information on other properties, but she never negotiated any sales. White instructed Simpson to attend a land auction and bid up to $250,000 on his behalf for a 217-acre farm. White signed a blank check so Simpson could deposit the required 10% of the bid, but he gave her no further instructions before leaving on a trip to Europe. Simpson won the farm for $327,500. Once Simpson realized that she had spent more than White authorized, she negotiated with Stanley Thomas to sell 45 acres of the property to him. Thomas asked Simpson if she had the authority to sell the land, and she said that she did. Simpson then signed a sales contract for the land. The contract stated that Simpson signed under power of attorney for White. When White returned from Europe, Simpson told him that she had paid $327,500 at the auction. White was upset, but he still went through with the closing. Simpson then told White that Thomas wanted to buy part of the property. White immediately repudiated Simpson's action in signing the sales agreement and informed Thomas. The following day, White completed the sale of the 217 acres with a purchase money loan. Thomas sued White, seeking specific performance of the sales contract that Simpson had signed for the 45 acres. The Washington County Chancery Court ruled in Thomas's favor. White appealed to the Arkansas Court of Appeals.